ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ടു അനദർ സെഷൻ ഓഫ് അവർ ഇ ആർ പി ഗവ് ട്രെയിനിങ് ഫോർ അക്കൗണ്ടൻസ് ആൻഡ് ബിസിനസ് ഓണേഴ്സ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് പി ഒ എസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് പോയിൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് സെയിൽ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് സെയിൽ ഹൗ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് സെയിൽസ് സെയിൽസ് വിത്ത് ഇ ആർ പി നെക്സ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഹൗ ദാറ്റ് സെയിൽസ് വർക്ക്സ് സംബഡി giving a purchase order somebody sending us a po then we are invoicing then invoicing someone sitting in the office uh then some truck or some vehicle going to the store or go down then inside the go down they issue issue what delivery notes this is applicable for a a company this is applicable for a company a big company a not big but it's no it's not applicable for a store a retail shop or something like that a medical shop a retail shop or any 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 place where walking customers comes and just buy the item take from the shelf and give it to the cashier at take from the shelf. so here comes our pos module this pos module it we get lot of inquiry we have so many installation also on the pos side so on the pos it's a it it's covering very well in the unlike other erp system in the erp next or erp call whatever we have we have a lot of customization for this module in the point of sale module for uh, gulf countries especially for medical um, for for medical and all i mean for the medical and food business medical and food business it need it need expiry date and uh, so it it is handled as a batches we have discussed batches in the last couple of mm. two two session back or thing i'm not sure maybe last one you can check back our youtube channel uh, so it's dealt in batches so batch wise invoicing pos is very important for medical and food so we have made some customization that we will cover in the next session so today we are not go, go covering the batch entries in in this we will we will enter it we will do it in the next session today we will just simple sales like electronic items or other groceries and all which doesn't have anything like batch it's just the, there is no expiry date you just sell it if there is a barcode you just sell it and in the post we have multiple equipments connected that is one is a post machine and post machine with the cash drawer maybe pol display cash drawer pol display and what thermal printer normally that's a print thermal printer uh i can i can i can take you one picture from google as a post machine just you can google it i mean point of sale machine oh and this is all coming like this here you can you can see this i mean of course you most of you are familiar uh, but just let us let's elaborate a little this is the post machine normally there is uh, uh a printer here a printer here a scanner here a normally a touch screen here and a cash drawer here there is normally a pole display like this a pole display like this showing the amount connected to this i am not good at drawing but there will it will it will show the amount and all so this is this is also part of it it's pole display so these are the things there again uh, there's a printer there's a uh, scanner there's a cash drawer and there's a monitor so in the monitor no, nowadays it's all touch screen so our uh, we have it like we have it like here there are customized modules also uh, here we have I mean if you have pictures all the pictures will come for normally for for restaurants and all if the menu items are not that much 
then we have pictures here but in the grocery and all we don't have pictures we will put uh, pictures in that it will be like display in a row and uh, there is another uh, there are multiple kind of uh, POS is uh, is this I mean there are there are multiple type of uh, customized available for this I will show you one example POS awesome POS you can you can see this another kind it is you can see it here this is called POS awesome it is it is a separate module coming with the PAEAP next this is different type of uh, POS you can see it here and there is uh, return you can do it from here new and the payment everything it is it it's pretty good and this is actually the screens the screens that on the on the POS it can be designed in multiple ways uh, for the restaurants we are not using this style for the grocery we are using another style for medical shop we are using another style for the medical shop and food it is as I, as I said at the beginning we use batches I will explain you in the next session so there are there are multiple multiple kind we and the colorful and all of this some need uh, customer details some need uh, to enter and there is loyalty program also that also we will cover, cover in another session so this is a POS awesome and this is one way and this is I mean one of the and this is another one the standard one here also we have a lot of customization well uh, now we will we'll go back to the main retail screen main retail screen and you can see here there are some entries POS profile opening entry and closing entry what is POS profile POS profile is you define the characteristic of the POS I will I will open it and I'll show you now POS profile I create one profile I have already created a couple of profile for another answer session early morning there are so from which store that I mean when you are saying it's store it need not be store necessarily or warehouse it can be our our retail shop also it can because anyway we are we are moving items from store to store to warehouse so that also will be considered as a store uh, technically theoretically at least and available for users i mean there are other details like you need to enter mode of payment that is we'll put let's say cash and there is option for you can add cash i just put cash for the for the sake of simplicity and uh, we can say ha hat there are multiple options here here it is do you need to display image if you need it just hide it you just put it here and now you need to show unavailable items in that case tick here and the pricing rules you know in inside the cashier sometimes small shops and all they allow user to edit rate but big supermarket and all they don't allow there is no bargain there is barcode you just scan the barcode whatever price coming you sell it you don't allow uh, your staff to I mean the, the counter staff to do that so these are options I mean uh, small shops again they are allowing discounts but uh, big shops they don't allow discounts so these options are there and when there are filters printer settings because we have my we may have multiple printers multiple settings and there are letter heads and all this we have explained and right of account there will be change minor so you need a round of account this is accounting practice we have explained already so if you haven't uh, listened to our first accounting video you can go back and and listen it once again and uh, the users uh, the customer normally this customer is walk-in customer uh, you don't need to save the name and all but for the loyalty programs you may need it so we will explain loyalty program again so we created a profile now let's go back to here 
you you have a profile oh sorry you have a profile and you have here you have an opening entry and you have a closing entry so what is opening entry opening entry is you know in the morning when when a cash i mean a counter operator or a, or a, a your staff coming for job they come to the supervisor and supervisor give him a cash drawer tray with something like small changes like 150 real or 200 real inside that uh, and this is then they go to the counter they sit there they make the selling and everything collect the money and then come back after her shift she come back for closing entry to the same supervisor the same the same supervisor make another entry that she, uh, supervisor will make the entry total entry and see uh, total bill amount and the opening amount is included there then settle settle that so this in entries are important so this this is a one time thing this is every day every shift the supervisor is doing then this is the point of sale so i'll i'll go to opening entry this is obviously these are different uses supervisors and all not same so i just put it here a pos profile pos 3 i put mode of payment is cash and everything now it's okay, okay. opening amount i will give an opening amount something like 250 or oh, as thomas okay i put 250 as an opening amount then uh, i submit it then the the operator go the the counter staff go there and make a sale let's say she selling a pencil a pencil panadol extra that we have explained in the past video that this is a item with batch number so we we have to deal batch numbers in the point of sale that will be in the next next session or in the in the coming session we will explain we cannot do this items with the batch in the right now but you, we, i will explain it next so we can do it iphone or pen or pencil or anything so i am just selling i'm just adding pencils now for 20 we have one pencil because here you can see a short window a short uh, red color and all there is uh the available quantity if i put you know here you can put you can change the quantity you can put a discount depends on whether we allow the user to put put discount whether we allow the use to change rate that normally we don't but let's say we allowed it or oh no editing right is not allowed fine uh, so quantity you can change you can put two but the quantity is not available only one is available again flop so anyway i put it here i clear it again and i put only one quantity that is okay it is only one quantity 20 real and i am making this sell okay i am checking out 20 real and when at the time of checking checking out they will give you money the customer will the cash or money let's say there is no change the customer gave you 100 so what what will show here the paid amount is paid amount is 100 change 80 grant total 20 so you will pay him 80 back from the drawer because you already have money in the drawer because when you are opening the session the supervisor gave you 250 so i just complete the order okay so for the new order you just click here same same thing maybe thousands of invoice you may be printing and here mm, the item we sold if we the thing is before version up to version 12 up to version 12 
there there used to create one accounting and stock ledger entry whenever you are doing a point of sale system in the version 13 in the version 13 that's not the case the reason is uh, let's say you you have five cash counters and everyone making an average of 200 entries then there are thousands entries in the same day so if you are making one entry for stock and one entry for accounting for each pos there will be thousand entries in a day in accounting and stock it it is of course there in the pos that's fine because we have to keep the record but this is the accounting and uh, stock ledger will be a big mess if you are keeping so in the version 13 and onwards what we do it's it's actually all the other big erp system doing the same when the customer or closing the session at that time only it will make an entry inside the ledger and accounting but don't worry because maybe obviously the question that arises in your mind so if you are making a stock entry if you if you are selling something like a pen it had a stock of 5 and you sold all 5 let's say it will be zero but if you are making a not a stock entry all 5 will show there and it will make sell no it's not the case stock on the point of sale it will not show 5 it will show zero only and you cannot sell it that that's handled and the, but the entry going to stock it will be clubbed together it will be one entry i mean if if you have multiple customers if you are doing this is walk in customer or walk in for the walk in customer there will be one entry if you are selecting another other customers like uh, if you are selecting for loyalty program if you are collect if you are mentioning the customer name because only for the loyalty program you are you you generally give a customer uh, customer name and phone number and all otherwise who cares it's a walking customer uh, so uh, in that case it will make only one entry for walking customer and uh, each customer there will be one entry in the accounting and for the stock ledger it is all together one entry for one cashier between cash opening and closing that's very important to understand there's a lot of confusion on that uh, but this is uh, this is the best method because uh if i'm some some companies like carry for lu and all they have i mean 50000 100000 entries every day and uh, it will make a big mess if you are not not doing like that so this is this uh yap next is really going big and some decisions are taken taken like that uh, so i am what i i come back here and the retail and there is pos closing entry so uh, the lady that she was doing the sale there came back and asked you okay i made this much sale i made this much sale and uh, please close my account so i am uh, so what you will do you will go back to here and put closing entry you need to do a closing entry in this case so i am just doing that so what are the entries the, all the opened entries will be shown there all the open entries will be shown there so you can select the open entry so what we have sold a 20 real thing and this one total sold 20 i remember it is correct and we will ask her okay let's close it let's close that so uh a 20 real invoice is there and let's make it save a closing oh you need to put a closing amount there is a closing amount expected amount or oh, there is actually uh i'm sorry the there is opening amount was 250 and we sold 100 so we the the cashier should return to supervisor how much 250 plus 100 that is 350 so uh, let's say 
she she what 2350 then that's fine but if if she is giving you 400 then it is there will be difference okay so i'll just put it expected amount 100 whatever so this calculation expected amount 100 uh, so i'm i'm just closing this there's no difference now this is the concept is clear maybe minor mistakes we have done here and there but this the concept you can then i i submit it i submit that i closed it now if you go there and check the check the stock ledger before in the last session i show you how to do check stock ledger you can just go here and check the stock ledger and you will see there is a sale that happens with this invoice or uh, that's today uh, this this invoice it's it's close we we sold one item here it, it is showing there uh, but i mean if we this is the stock ledger it, it appears here only after that you are the session is closed otherwise it will not show here it will show on another report that is related to stock ledger and stock balance also it will reflect after that but it will there are another report that is that is designed for pos it will be shown there and here on the accounting also so for the accounting if you take this uh, general ledger you, you can see an entry related to that an entry related to that what is that this is this is minus 10 a walk-in customer and this is the invoice I'm not sure this is the same invoice but anyway there is a walk-in customer and there is an entry here and that that money go to cost of goods sold if you remember our first session what is cost of goods sold and what is it it is there okay so this is the standard pos system entries we will we will come back with another session and explain you how to handle batch entries oh i forgot one thing this most of uh, this all entries uh, i forgot the retail when you are doing this point of sale here you you are entering actually the barcode uh, you are scanning it so whenever you are scanning an item the number will appear here and only that item will will appear here in the entry or you can just put the number in also normally it's always always nowadays it's barcode you just put barcode barcode number here so in the in the medical and all you, when you are putting the barcode it will appear so that particular batch that we will explain later and here you can select if you are a restaurant or something you can put like uh, juice dessert and all you can just select that all and it will appear on only that i don't have much data in this um, so this is the way to work and when you when you are putting this checkout button it will make a printout on the oh it will it will give you a printout here whenever you are clicking checkout it will open the crash drawer here so a cash drawer will be tuck it will, it will come out and uh, a printout will also come out and this is the scanner whenever there is an item there are I mean, multiple type of scanner and the total amount that the paid the amount paid will be displayed there and the balance also displayed there this the, this is the same way it will work on all the percentages so that's what i i forgot so the thing is so we have covered pos so in the next session we will cover another topic so and for the for the batch entry for the POS also we will cover in the next week. So please subscribe our YouTube channel that is ERP Gulf. ERP, oh sorry. ERP Gulf, that is our YouTube channel. And send an email to training at erpgulf.com. we are now offering certification in the erp system and uh, for 
for first few candidates we are giving a free voucher for certification so you can you can apply for that you can send an email to training at erpgulf.com so you will get a free voucher so do subscribe our youtube channel <laughs> not because we are monetizing our youtube channel or something whenever there is a new update on on the on our education video you, you will get a notification and you will see that thank you thank you for joining us thank you appreciate that